Hi everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add navigation bars or menus to your Notion pages and customize them. So first, let me say that there are so many ways to navigate Notion. I've written a blog post about it where I explain how I use Notion itself to create navigation menus, like this one here for example, um, in my bookmarks and multimedia manager which is uh, available for free by the way which makes it super useful to, to navigate a specific template or a dashboard um, so you might want to check the blog post out, I'll leave the link in the description in this video however we'll make um, navigation bars or menus that are actually just embedded widgets I like these cause they look uh, way cleaner and can be customized in an infinite possible ways plus I don't have to use sync clock which I used previously uh, because this widget, uh, it's a widget, so if you know if I update the code, it will automatically update everywhere it's embedded. So without further ado, let's get started. As usual, if you haven't watched the GitHub tutorial, you'll have to watch it first and then come back here. Okay, so we create a new file. I'll call it nav.html. We go to the widgets gallery, link also in description. Open the navigation bar and click source code. We click the copy button. This time, I want you to be able to see the changes as you make them, so instead of editing the code in GitHub like always, uh, we we'll just open a new basic text file and paste the code and save it and make sure to make the extension .html. Now open this file in your browser. I'll like have both the screens open. So the first step uh, would be adding your own links and icons. We scroll to this nav section. Now every line you see here, this represents an item in the menu. This ID bar is what we will use to say when I click this particular item, take me to this particular URL. This um, like greater than I part of the the code. This represents the icon that you see like next to the text. And this is the text you see obviously. And if we scroll down to this script part, uh, we see the thing if id equals home open this URL and else if id equals inbox open this URL and so on. So how to edit this? If I were you, I delete all of these and just keep the first one and do the same uh, with the scripts too so let me do so uh, I'm just gonna keep like the first line for reference um, and save the file and refresh the page you see it's only home now let's add a URL for projects so I'll copy this line and start editing it. I'll make the ID projects and always make your IDs one word if you wanna like add two words, separate them with hyphens or underscores but preferably hyphens and never put spaces. Okay now to add an icon we'll go to font awesome. I'll leave the link in the description and search for projects or whatever you want and filter by free icons I like this one so I'll open it and just click here to copy the code um, now back to our text file I'll delete this part with the less than sign i till the beginning of my text and this is the code I have from, con from font awesome and instead of home I'll make this projects Finally, I'll scroll to the script part. I'll copy these two lines and just add else before if. Now, instead of home, I'll make this projects. And make sure you, the spelling is exactly the same and be case sensitive, um, like the one we just added here. Just to be sure, maybe copy it to be safer. And instead of example.com, you add your URL here. And of course, you do the same with the home page. Let's save it and see how it looks. Um, great, so you repeat the process till you add all your own links and your own icons. Um, you can of course, if you don't wanna like 
have the icon only that's also possible you can just um, you know if I deleted the word home here just have the home icon let me show you so you might want to do that now let's see how to customize the style I'll copy back the original source code so we have like lots of items so by default this will be a horizontal navigation bar if you want it to be a vertical one um, you see this line let direction equal horizontal we change it to vertical if I save this and refresh my browser you see it's now vertical if you want to add a background to your menu you just type uh, background here and to change the background color we open google color picker and pick the color you want copy its hex code scroll up to this part and replace this code here with the one you have to change the border color we replace this code with the color we want same as the background and if you want to change the thickness we change this one pixel so if i made it three pixels for example um it looks like this to remove the border altogether we either set the thickness to zero um, or delete this word border from here to change the font color we edit the code here the same as before and to change the uh, font color when you hover over the URL, like this orange color here, um, you change this color code. To change the font family, first we go to Google Fonts to pick uh, the font you like. You can filter by the language or character set. I'll choose Latin. Let's try this one. You see it's, uh, it has various styles, maybe I'll try this one. So click select here and click copy. Delete the part of the code wrapped uh, with this Google Font marker and paste um, the stuff you copied from Google Fonts in between. Back to Google Fonts, now copy this part, select this line and paste the one you have. Let's see how it looks. I actually prefer the previous one, but you get the idea. You can keep trying and customizing it until you absolutely love it. And only then when you're like 100% happy about how it looks, you can just copy the code and paste it in your GitHub file. And um, like usual, comment the page. So now let's get the URL. We go to settings, then pages. Uh, we open the URL and add nav.html or whatever you called your file and just wait until it's up and running then we copy and paste it in Notion as an embed that's it you see the ways you can use this uh, and customize it is just massive you can use it to navigate a specific template or to create a navigation bar for your entire workspace like I do uh, or even use it as a kind of like bookmarks bar in a specific template like if you're a student and have a school dashboard you can add like your uni's url and stuff like that um so it's really really up to you let me know if you have any questions in the comments um thank you for watching and happy notioning